Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new. My name is Madeline. I am a mom of a almost two-year-old toddler. She's going to be two in October and today I'm going to share with you a kitchen makeover. I'm so excited for these makeover videos and um, if you guys are new here, I've been doing a whole series because we just moved to this rental flat and I feel like rental flats obviously come with limitations. There are things that you are not going to like about them. Um, but you can't really change them or maybe it's not worth investing in them because you might not be there for long um, but it's nice to make your place a home or at least feel um, cozy and feel like it's yours so that's what i'm going to share with you today how i kind of redid the kitchen and just did some small bits here and there that actually made quite a big difference at least in my opinion so let's go ahead and get started Let's start with the floors, shall we? When we moved in here, the floors were quite gross, I'm not gonna lie. The grout was black, but it's not like it was purposely black, it was pretty much dirty and I tried scrubbing the heck out of it and it did not come out. And also the tiles were quite dirty as well. They're kind of like that type of tile that has a little bit of a um, like pore texture to it, so the grime kind of gets stuck in there. So what I did first is I gave it a pretty good scrub with a brush. And then one thing that made quite a big difference is this. So we got the Unibond Grout Reviver with Anti-Mold. Um, I mean, it says it's for bathrooms and kitchens and I got it in the white shade. Um, I think they have other ones as well. Now um, this is what we used to cover up the grout and revive it and it worked perfectly. I'm going to show you how we did that. I actually had help from my husband and my brother who was here as well so he offered to help as well. Um, and it took us about two hours I would say to do the floor and it's actually quite a small kitchen. So just keep in mind that it does take quite a while. So just make sure you set aside time for that. If you have kids, I would suggest doing this in the evening just because it has more time to dry before children get in there. Although this does dry up pretty fast. I think in about half an hour, um, the spots that we already painted were pretty dry. Like, I don't think you could mess them up at that point. And that brings me to my next point, which is to make sure you are pretty precise with this because I feel like um, this comes with a, um, I'm going to show you, it comes with a sponge applicator, looks like that. I would not suggest using that because I feel like it's quite messy and I have read reviews about that before um, applying it, which I'm so happy I did because um, this dries up really fast, which means it's really hard to clean. So if you do get this all over your tiles, it's going to be quite a pain to get it out. So I would suggest just uh, making sure you are pretty precise with it. So what we did instead of using that sponge is um, just used some painting brushes. I got some really slim painting brushes that don't have to be anything too fancy. And I just used that to kind of paint along the tile instead of kind of like, you know, blotching all over the place. That worked really well and I think it makes a huge difference to the kitchen floor. I think it looks brighter, it looks cleaner. Um, it obviously is cleaner as well, but it's a super easy way to spruce up a space like that. Next thing that I tackled is the grout from the walls that you see right here. They might look quite clean now, but they were actually quite grimy. And I feel like it's because you obviously cook there, you splash with water, you splash with food. What I used for this is just some sip and a brush. So I just applied that all over the tiles. I scrubbed it really well with the brush and all of the dirt came out really um, easily. And the grout looked quite dark when we moved in and now it's white. <laughs> I feel like it's little things like that that will make your kitchen look a lot nicer. So this is what our kitchen floor looks like now and I'm going to show you the rugs that I got in here. So I got two of these mats. These were actually called bath mats which I don't mind um, because I think they go really well in the kitchen as well and I like that they're easily cleaned. You can just pop them in the washing machine and these were from Wilco for um, I think about six or eight pounds each. 
want to get some non-slip mat to put underneath those because they are obviously a little bit slippery um, so I would suggest getting that if you are going to get uh, mats like this in your kitchen. Okay so on this side of the kitchen I just put my fruit bowl because I wanted to have that on hand. I actually put that first near the window and then realized it's not a good spot because um, the sun kind of goes on them and they will ripen faster and uh, they will go bad faster so I just put them there and then on this side I'm going to try to make kind of like a um, cooking station out of these bits that I got for the core so um, yeah I'm going to show you what I have on here and how I can set it up here is what I am working with so um, first of all I have this bread container which I am absolutely loving I thought it was quite big when I got it but it's actually really handy because it fits a lot in there including my beloved uh, bagels <laughs> And then I got um, I got this one from Amazon. I will link it down below if you are interested. And then I got two um, cutting boards. I thought these were really pretty and very stylish, very Instagram, Pinterest, whatever <laughs> you want to call it. Um, and I'm not I can't remember the name of the wood, but these were from Wilco and they were not too expensive. I can't remember the exact price, but I will link it down below if I can find them. I think they were around the six pound mark. But they are really pretty and I think these are going to be a really nice display over here. And then I also got this um, jug from there. I think it's like a milk jug. But I wanted to use something like this for my wooden spatulas. This one is also from Wilco. And then these are from um, Amazon. But they do have very similar ones on Wilco as well. Um, and they might be cheaper. I can't remember. And then I made this print myself. Now um, I'm not a pro, I'm not a watercolor artist or anything like that. So if I can do this I'm pretty sure anyone can. Um, and this one I just made super simply with some watercolor. I'm actually going to show you how I made that. So you don't need to be super precise. I basically just kind of drew the outline of my uh, plant and then I um, filled it up with watercolor. I used a few different shades of green and I just kind of tried to make it look like a, um, I'm not sure if this is called a fern or something like that, but I just thought it would look really pretty in this kitchen display. And the nice thing about these frames, um, I got the frame from Wilco as well. I think these were um, five pounds. I got two of them. I'm going to show you the other one as well. But the nice thing about these is that whenever you get bored of the prints that you have in there, you can just kind of uh, make another one, you know, color another one yourself and then change it up for free. <laughs> so I think that's really nice because sometimes I get bored with things like this and I want to change them up. Um, so it's nice to have that option. And then I have this... A tea towel that I got from Ocado. <laughs> um, I think I got this for my first order and I really like that it's got this little um, like quote saying on it and I thought it would look really pretty um, on display here. And I have my tea canister which I'm going to use here um, as well. And this is what my finished display looks like. I'm really liking how it turned out and what I really like about this, um, if you look at the little tea towel, um, the, I think the main words that you can see are smile, hug and onions. <laughs> I thought that was quite funny. Um, so yeah, this is the display that I went for um, in this part of the kitchen and now I'm going to move on to the um, coffee bar. Okay, these are the bits that I got for the coffee bar. This is actually a cutting board that I got from Ikea, which I'm going to use here. Um, and then I got this plant, which um, is a fake one. This one is from Primark, believe it or not. Um, I think they have quite nice decor in there. I was actually looking to get a real one, but I couldn't find one that was, I don't know, I couldn't find one that I really liked. <laughs> so I just bought this one for now. And if I do find a real one, then I might replace it with um, a real one in here in the kitchen and then um, move this somewhere else. But this is the one I got and I think it looks really nice. Um, and it's nice to have some greenery in the kitchen, I think. And then I got this mug which says, hello gorgeous. I think it's a really pretty mug. And I'm going to use this on display here as well. 
Um, I actually want to get some more knickknacks maybe for this area, but um, for now this is what I'm working with. I got the coffee and sugar canisters, which I got in the set with um, the previous ones that I showed you. They were all from Amazon. And then I made this print, which I um, am going to show you how I made as well. I'm no calligraphy expert, but <laughs> this is kind of what I tried to uh, do. So let's go ahead and assemble this side of the kitchen as well. Um, oh, over here I have my kettle and then my Nespresso machine as well, which I'm going to link below um, if you guys are interested. <laughs> So this is my very simple coffee bar. Um, I didn't want to go too crazy, so um, as I mentioned, just some simple bits, a cute little frame and then my canisters. Um, and yeah, I'm really liking how it turned out. And I'm really excited to have a coffee after I film this video. And then moving on to this side of the kitchen, I'm actually going to put some bits in there as well, which I'm going to need on display. I keep my fairy dish soap in this soap dispenser because I find that it looks cuter. Um, if it's like this rather than the original uh, bottle that it comes in and this one that I got is from Primark And that's that corner done. I just have a water filter paper towel holder and the soap dispenser and then the sink area I just kept it very very simple I don't like to have too much clutter on my workspace so this is kind of what I went for in here. And then I just wanted to show you this, which I got from Wilco as well. It's a really, really good one for spaces like this. We had this empty little cupboard thingy and it was so annoying because you couldn't put anything there because it looked awful. So I got this because it looks so much nicer. And it's just some little um, drawers, which um, I have used for my tea towels here. And then in here I have my uh, washing cloths, the one that I use for like dusting and windows. And then I just have some random things for the kitchen. And I think I have some bags in there at the bottom. So that's what that side of the kitchen looks like now. enjoyed my kitchen makeover video i have plenty more to come in this series so make sure you subscribe so you don't miss out those i'm going to do the living room our bedroom the bathrooms so yeah stay tuned for those i have a whole playlist going on for the makeover videos hope this gave you a little bit of inspiration if you're trying to spruce up your kitchen and yeah i hope you guys are having an awesome day and i will see you in my next video bye